Today we're back to the mind-numbing grind of what's becoming a worrying trend for my mental health by region locking ourselves in a video game. This time we'll be tackling Fallout 4, where we'll be staying in the always underwhelming great green jewel of the commonwealth, Diamond City. I'll be showing you today how to become an entrepreneurial mastermind, explore any activities the town has to offer, and how to extract as much fun as possible from what is an entirely miserable experience. All this will be done on survival difficulty, and of course, as is tradition on this channel by now, without leaving the robotic, albeit safe, inner sanctum of downtown Boston so that we can finally answer the question that's been on everyone's mind, can you play Fallout 4? without leaving Diamond City. Like a standard Fallout 4 playthrough, you're gonna wanna watch the cool opening cinematic so you can pinpoint the exact moment that Ron Perlman was fired from being the narrator of these games. War never changes. Well, there it is. At this point, the intro should be eliciting a decent level of nostalgia as you recall memories of Fallout 4's genius marketing campaigns while Einon Zura absolutely lights a piano on fucking fire with his electric rendition of the Fallout theme. God, I can't wait for Starfield. If an overwhelming sense of nostalgia and hope is hitting you, then you're on the right track. You're likely experiencing flashbacks of when the most dangerous man in E3 history walked out on stage in a cafe racer jacket oozing nearly as much stage presence as the late Freddie Mercury for a goddamned video game. Say what you will about this man, but he's good at his job, and if you don't start nerding all over yourself, even just a little bit whenever he makes an appearance on a presentation stage, I don't think we can be friends. This guy could get me excited to buy a hangover. Now look, I'm, I'm not a doctor, although I'm hopeful I can obtain my PhD in video game jackassery soon, but all the dopamine that's running through your system currently should be leaving soon because- Good morning! vault calling. You get to go through Fallout 4's intro sequence, and no, we're not using an alternate start mod, I can see you typing your comments now, because it's my channel and I can make whatever rules I want, and I can do whatever the fuck. Do you want to make a good impression on the population of Diamond City? Well, I'm here for you. As someone who graduated college with a business degree, I think I know a thing or two about toxic masculinity. When creating your character, it's important to take your insecurities and shove them into a specific body part like your chin, jawline, and upper torso. That way you can present as a hyper-masculine, oh my fuck, I accidentally made Hulk Hogan. After developing your titan of testosterone, you'll get your first lesson in business which is to never replace a tried and true system with whatever the fuck Fallout 4's dialogue system is. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. You do. Go away. Won't take but a moment. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. I said no. And I'm saying yes. All right, luck at 10, charisma at 10, then do whatever you want with the rest of the stats, but make sure to keep intelligence at one. Remember, business major. I'm the only one that can watch the president talk right now. I serve this goddamn country. After the president informs everyone you're all about to be vaporized, take a quick run through your town to find the conveniently located futuristic underground fallout shelter that you conveniently had no clue existed until 30 seconds ago, where you'll find you're conveniently the only people left in town on the list to get in, so you can conveniently get into the vault avoiding the explosion that's conveniently located 30 feet from your house. Suddenly clipboard guy isn't so important now, is he? Prick. Nora gets turned into target practice, so there's no time for a motion. You've got money to make and a city to take over, so speed through the vault, do the world reveal, and console command over to Diamond City, where your adventure finally begins. Ooh, ooh. No. There's something about these videos that I love, and I've never really explained before. Usually we have some rough outline of what the plan or our objectives might be when region locking ourselves to a town, but to be completely transparent with you guys, we typically go in blind, and the first stream, over at twitch.tv slash Jew, feel free to join us for the next one, is used to kind of get a feel for the lay of the land, find out what we're working with, and if there even exists a viable endgame or entertaining goal we can make up along the way. This guy pisses me off. It was a prank. New Fallout 4 hack, if you shoot the mayor, as soon as you enter the city, you have to listen to him talk much less. We don't go in the normal way, we go in the cool way. We take the elevator into town. Here it is. This is our new home. Well, let's hear about the permit. You can do whatever you like with the interior. Okay, so we need to get 2,000 caps so we can get that house. Once we get that house, we pretty much have an unlimited XP farm. Let's rob the mayor. Sweet. Can I go into Kellogg's house already? Can I find Sean? <laughs> Immediately find Sean? Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? Back off, kid. 
let me catch you up if you aren't familiar. Spoilers for Fallout 4 if you do care about that. So the man who kindly barrel stuffed our wife and stole our annoying son is Kellogg, the man whose house key we stole from the mayor's office immediately upon entering town. This is actually nice for us because we're on survival difficulty, which means we not only need to sleep to keep our stats normalized, but to save our game in general. Usually in these challenges, when I want to get risky and steal something or blow something up, I can just quick save and all is good. Here, I've got to be a bit more smart and careful with my wanton assholery. Child, no! I'm just hanging out by the drugs. Oh, okay, that did not work. Don't touch the paint. Only if you throw in some more money. Nine. Maybe 125 caps. Is it really stealing if it's from a trash can? Job's 100 caps. I like you. 125. All right, Caillou, I'll help you out. Clean the water supply. Good job. Here's your pay. A small bit of petty thievery, and you're already halfway to owning property in the capital city of the Commonwealth. Some speech text to get you some of the very limited XP available in town, and a nice suit to make it so you can be a much more convincing salesman. No lifting. All right? I, uh, ma'am. Believe me when I say, I am an honest man. I am not a thief in any way. Add a wig if you can find one. It's a nice touch. Excuse me, fine sir. I would like to invest in your business establishment. Not only is the XP limited in Diamond City, but to be honest, pretty much everything is limited. This isn't Skyrim, where you can grind skills, exploit crafting, and in-game calculations to your benefit without leaving town. Maybe even find a dungeon or two. Fallout 4 is a painfully limited experience when region locked, and dare I say it, significantly less fun than Skyrim. Uh, honestly, outright boring. However, you might be surprised at just how much money you can make by robbing people. Wanna rob the dugout bar? Just throw everything into a corner where no one can see you stealing. Ooh, and before you leave, don't forget to play the perfectly preserved pie minigame. If you have 10 luck, you get a whopping 2% chance of obtaining the most valuable item in the entire game. Although I'm gonna feel bad if I walk away from it and I miss it. You know, the one time it works, I'm gonna feel s Oh, we got it! If you're still short on caps, you can visit the warehouse in town. There's some goodies in there if you break in, steal, and sell all of that. Eventually, you'll be able to nickel and dime your way out of squatting at a stranger's house and start owning some real property. It's a bit of a fixer-upper, but put in some elbow grease and it'll be perfect for visitors. If you've played Fallout 4, I think it's obvious why you need to own this house by now. The only way to increase your power level and ego as a budding businessman is to... Everyone knows that a good business is built on the foundation of carpentry spamming, specifically wooden shelves. I was being a bit coy earlier when I mentioned putting your intelligence level at 1, but if you do have the idiot savant perk, it's more likely to activate the lower your intelligence, netting you triple XP anytime you earn experience. So if you want a few more perks, get to spamming those shelves. Of course, no good strategy lasts forever in this world, so if you want to keep doing this, the market in town can sell you bulk steel and bulk wood for more shelf spamming, which you'll obviously need to steal and sell more crap in order to do, but am I really gonna make this entire video about stealing small ticket items around town? I mean, that was the majority of this challenge, but we need something a bit bigger to hang our cap on, right? To be an effective entrepreneur, you're gonna need to invent something. Every big shot CEO needs a break from raising capital. Oftentimes disconnecting from the grind will lead to inspiration. So kick back with the people of Diamond City and take part in some of the activities the town has to offer, like interviewing for the local paper. You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? God, I hate how they, you, you railroad me into talking about Sean. I'm not looking for anyone. Oh my God, it, it actually just rejects that choice. It says, no, fuck you. Actually, you are looking for Sean. I'm gonna try and avoid it. Why do you care? Oh my God, I really can't. <laughs> I, can't. I lost family, okay? Are you kidding me? I hate that. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> if you're feeling spiritual, head over to the local chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? Not looking to make friends, Pastor. You might want to rethink that attitude. Like I'd waste my time with that. If you're feeling scientific, swing through the science center. X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays. Which one are we most worried about? Beta rays. If your body absorbs too much beta radiation, you morph into a YouTuber. Take a minute to meet Polly the Butcher in town. You don't want to talk to her, you want to break into her home because you can read through her private terminal containing several poems about how she feels bad for selling dead animals. Climb up to her roof as well and she's got a meat locker. There's nothing to take from here, but you can engage in one of Diamond City's favorite pastimes. The only fun activity you can do is just play, I guess, meat forehead. Go ahead, trade jabs with a child if you're up for it since there's not much else to do in this damn city. Oh, wow. 
You're tall. Thanks, Caillou. You're bald. Don't worry about the money either. It'll come naturally as you'll be instinctually robbing every single person you meet and place you break into along the way. Just be careful not to steal from the wrong person. Uh oh. Myrna. Oh, no, 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 lesson? Oh, she's coming for me. Ma'am! Ma'am! What's that? Last mistake. Eventually, without even thinking about it, your million dollar invention will come to you in a dream. Or, if you're me, it'll be given to you by your Twitch chat. They do the hard lifting for me sometimes. Some turrets and lure. Oh my god, Angelo, Angelo, you genius! I wasn't lying when I said we come up with our challenge goals on the fly, and you're still watching this video, so that means that you want to become a proven entrepreneur without leaving Diamond City. Well fine, here's how you're gonna do it. I have no clue why this is even an option to build, but at the home plate in Diamond City, you can build a turret that is either off or on. No in between, it's just a switch. Our mission is to build as many of these as possible and turn our home into a death machine, because everyone in the apocalypse needs a home defense system. So let's build something special and make our pitch to investors. There's a few things you'll need to do before going all in on building these things. First off, you're going to need a crap ton of capital to build a bunch of these bad boys, so maximizing your profit margins is huge. Since we're on survival difficulty, that means no more drinking the water that you find. As an entrepreneur, you need to be dedicated enough to the grind to only drink out of the dirty lake water in the middle of town. Empty bottles that you find can be filled and then turned into purified water, which will get you even more cash. And don't worry about the ecosystem of worms forming in your stomach from all the dirty water you're drinking. You may not be funding a corporate health care plan, but the doctor on the street will fix any diseases you catch for cheap. Your sights should now be set on Fallout's version of the Cloud District. You'll know you're in the right spot when you encounter Lee from the Walking Dead game. You belong down in the lower section of the city. I miss you, Lee. Stroll into the bar and you'll come across the only interesting NPC interaction in the entire city. Ah! Jesus, oh, he sent his forehead into the bar. Yeah, get out of here, boo. <laughs> what a fucking loser, am I right, Eustace? You know, I love when I go to a bar and... Why am I the one everyone is staring at? He's the one who just rocked a guy's jaw. Before we move on, make sure to finesse this old lady. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? I do need some help. I knew it. I have a few caps to spare. Here. Bitch. What did you say? All right, go find the nerd who just got half his skull liquefied. Offer to help him out and make sure that you have the perk that allows you to plant live bombs on people and... If you play it right, the entire bar should be yours to loot, and the bartender's house is yours to take whatever you want. Now, there's three other rich pricks that live up in the stands, so you'll need to get their keys to break into their houses as well. They also all have a pretty good amount of caps on them. I'd be remiss to not tell you that right around here, we thought we found a hack to totally circumvent the whole you can only save your game by sleeping mechanic in Fallout 4. If you go to the main menu, Fallout gives you an exit save file, and I thought all was fine and dandy. I was pickpocketing everyone easily, not getting caught, robbing their houses, and then I decided to mess with a few of the one million cats that are in this house, to which the karma gods responded really harshly. Uh, there's no way they love you all equally, they probably can't even tell you apart. I'm sorry, look away. Oh! I pressed the wrong button, <laughs> I did not mean to. No, no, what? No! So, yeah. Maybe don't try to use exit saves in survival mode because this deleted a lot of my progress and I had to do this whole section over again. After drinking gallons of toxic water, starving yourself to cut back on costs, pickpocketing everyone in town, breaking into every property available, and putting every ounce of your net worth into a state-of-the-art home defense prototype built by hand, ladies and gentlemen of the board, allow me to introduce you to the Elden Ring Automated Home Defense System. Okay, it's not fully automated. You gotta flip this switch here and... All right, all right, so it's a bit underwhelming, but at least we can get some of the townspeople upset and have them chase us in here, is what I wish I could truthfully tell you, because for some stupid reason, Fallout gives you the ability to build a weaponized trap for a home that it's impossible to even use in practically. Well, I'll be damned if we aren't going to test this bad boy out. Piper! It works! <laughs> Preliminary trials were a success, so let's see how it handles a real enemy. Ow! Hey! Hey! Defend me, turrets!
It works! The home defense system works! <laughs> we did it! All right, it might have been a little bit underwhelming, but we had to take this challenge somewhere. So what do you guys think of my new product? Are you gonna invest? It is everything but a legitimate product. And for those reasons, I'm out.